Islam is a part of our life regarding how we relate to us as human beings with our Lord. Also, Islam enters into our way of life regarding how we deal with people in the street. That is to establish his religion in every aspect of our life, whether our fears of worship. So we have to establish the salah, the five times salat, which is considered to be one of the pillars of Islam. Bunya Islam ala khams. Islam is established, it is built. Its foundation is upon five pillars. As shahada and Lailallah. Shahada and Lailallah. To be a witness that there is none deserving to be worshipped. And this is the foundation and the art of Islam. That the Muslim and mankind, you are not to serve except Allah as your Lord. You are not to worship except Allah. Not to give acts of devotion and worship to any human being, regardless of his status and his rank. Whether a prophet, whether a righteous person, whether an angel, none of these things, whether a tree, whether a stone, or any form of idol, these things are not to be worshipped. So in Islam, we are not to worship Muhammad who is our prophet. We are not to worship Isa who is a prophet and a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, we are not to worship Musa who is a prophet and a messenger of Allah. So Islam, it forbids all form of shirk. Inna shirka la zulmun azim. That indeed, for certainty, the worst of oppression is to ascribe with Allah partners. So Islam does not condone, it forbids the worshipping of other than Allah in every form, shape and fashion. So the Muslim and mankind have to be careful, have to be aware of this and to establish the oneness of Allah. That to only Allah alone we worship. Only Allah alone we give acts of devotion. So when we pray, we pray only to Allah. When we fast in Ramadan, it was only because of us doing this, because we want to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No other reason should be behind this. So the Muslim have to establish Islam in its, uh, in its totality in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. And the Muslim have to establish our religion, especially in these times, in the way outlined in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, as understood 